welcome back to Toya D TV. Y'all got me in the raw today. All right, so I just got off work. It's Thanksgiving week. I'm trying to give y'all a review for episode 16 and 17. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. Y'all, I'm going to pick the good parts of uh, episode 16 and what I saw in that. Then we're going on to episode 17. So season 5, episode 16, picking sides. Y'all, the main thing that we discovered in this episode is that Candace tells everyone that the altercation with Monique has now made her aware and given her confidence that she can get through anything. Therefore, she wants to have children. So she gets emotional and she said, you know, being amongst the group, there's things that she's learned, like the things that people don't talk about, like a torn anus and all of that. Ashley mentions, well, you know, I want to support you, but I'm not sure that I can fully support you because all of the allegations and all the demeaning stuff you were saying about me and Michael and our miscarriage and all of this. And Candace keeps saying that she does not want to go backwards. So Candace has apologized for the situation before. They talked in debt at the restaurant, at the little pub they went to or whatever. And apparently Candace thought everything was squashed. Well, Ashley is still harboring feelings for the hurt that she still feels behind what Candace said. Do I feel like it's real? Mm, maybe. Because you wouldn't think that somebody would talk about ch your child. They can talk about you all day. But you wouldn't think that somebody would stoop that low and talk about your child. So she may really feel this way. I, I honestly don't, don't really know. That whole scene was summed up. Candace apologized again and said I'm being real now. I apologize now. The ball at this point is in Ashley's court and you know Ashley's trying to move forward but mm, these two are too much alike to actually get along. It's kind of sad. Another thing that stood out to me during this episode is that Giselle mentions that she wonder if Karen is truly in love with Ray. In my opinion you have to be truly in love with somebody to give up money for taxes your personal money you know but i mean that's the wife's job but if she wasn't truly in love as a wife she wouldn't have done it i just thought it was weird I, I thought it was really weird when giselle said she can't see her having sex with him and she see him uh, having sex in dress socks or something like that like giselle that's too much like nobody wants to imagine ray and karen nailing like it, it's just oh the last thing from that episode that majorly stood out to me was the fact that Ashley found the need. Oh, I'm not going to say found the need. I believe this is all like production. These conversations are set up and all of that. Ashley told Robin and Giselle about the, the statement that Monique asked her to write. Talking about the details of what transpired between Ashley and Candace the year before when Candace uh, threw a butter knife at her. This is why I could never be on reality TV because it's too fake for me. There was zero reason you had to tell them before you decided to come clean and let her know up front to her face. Everybody could have found out at the same time. or you really could have pulled her aside and told her that but again this is tv and this is what they wanted to happen so of course when she tells them they have their questions well you're just doing a character statement right you're just saying that you know monique is a good mom and all this and all that well no did it off of the events that transpired between her and candace personally now she says she spoke her truth and i don't really think anybody can be mad at her speaking her truth but it's kind of iffy because it's like if you're working on your relationship with Candace, you know this is not going to be a good look. So to me, the real question is, do she really want the friendship with Candace? 
I honestly don't think so. I think Ashley looks at Candace like she's a little girl. Ashley got big things going on, big money. She can do whatever she wants, create whatever businesses she wants. And I don't think she feels that she's in the same boat with Candace, even though they're very close in age. So after she reveals to them about this statement, Robin's like, so you're assassinating her character. And she's like, well, no. And, you know, Robin says, well, you know you're pretty much not going to have a friendship with her after this. And Ashley's not going to be sad about it. That tells me that Ashley does not truly care whether her friendship with Candace... I mean, is her, is her friendship with Candace valuable? I don't think so. I think Candace would be fine. And I think Ashley would also be fine without each other. It's just kind of sad. But I don't think we're going to see that relationship rekindled. Moving on to episode 17, 50 Shades of Betrayal. The episode picks right up. Same conversation, Giselle, Robin, and Ashley. Ashley is not worried about Candace's response at all. And really, Ashley's like, Candace can respond the way she wants. And if she's upset, then so be it. But I'm not. Monique is my friend. And she did me and Michael a favor. I would have more respect for Ashley if she just said Monique is my friend we have a genuine friendship me and Candace are just getting it together and I don't have that much trust or faith in her so I'm gonna go for Monique who was you know who I'm siding with the whole Michael accusation kind of is it's like a I kind of feel like it's like a cheap way out like she looked out for us when this was going on. She maybe did, but at the same time, when you say somebody else knew that something happened, it makes it seem guilty, but then we already know the tape has already been discovered at this point that something really did happen. I think Ashley needs to leave Michael out of it and just say, hey, me and Monique are genuine friends. Me and Candace are working on our friendship, but it's not where me and Monique are right now. So I'm choosing Monique and that's that. All right, y'all, so they all go down to the ocean and they're they're doing their photo shoot. They're all posing on rocks and taking the best pics of their life and the gowns are flowy and bathing suits look nice. Somebody brings up that the atmosphere is perfect for Candace to perform her song. So Candace does her performance, which I think is, I mean, I think she did it all in fun, so I'm not even gonna judge it, it is what it is. Then they all kind of just chill on the pairs. Giselle asked Candace how does she feel how is she feeling about Karen Candace is not sure how she feels about Karen at this point Candace is seeing Karen differently she feels like Karen is making what Monique did okay I feel like Candace wants all of Karen or none of Karen I think she can really just she really need to suck it up like it's not right that she's trying to force Karen to choose and when you force people to choose they're going to choose what you don't want them to choose because you're forcing them and you are messing up the friendship so they're all sitting at dinner at this after the beach and everything and all the women realize that their men are grumpy Robin brings up you know you know they miss us they miss us so who all is sending their husbands nudes and everybody's looking around and she's the only one who sends her husband nudes I was actually shocked like the like everybody else that Candace did not send her does not send her husband nudes and she said they don't do that I just thought that was kind of funny because I really thought Candace <laughs> Candace or Ashley both would be the type to send nudes but Ashley still still trying to get back to the swing of things Anyway, so Robin sent Juan naked pictures and everybody wanted to see. Here's my question. If you are away and you you took nudes, sent them to your husband and your girls want to see, are you showing them? Are you showing them your nudes? I would not be showing them. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people are real good friends like that, but they pose a challenge. Candace is up for the challenge. Candace oh I can send them a boob right now so they're holding the blanket up she's snapping tit pics he loves them he calls them Hershey's kisses that's about all <laughs> that's about all they are 
she takes the pics and you know oh this is good lighting yes 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 so he laughs it off and you know he's like y'all are crazy like he probably think they were drunk or something and all he wasn't really phased by it he's like y'all are crazy clearly he knew that somebody had challenged her to do that and that's not what they normally do robin couldn't show her nudes because she deleted them do y'all think she really deleted them or she was like nah y'all on that freak stuff <laughs> What y'all think? Anyway, so we move on to the last day. And they are going to the puncha bar. They are puncha crazy around there. Puncha this, puncha that, puncha, puncha, puncha. Wendy want the punani and to eat some pom pom. Okay, drink some pom pom. Wendy is off the chain. So now they are heading out to go to the puncha bar. They're getting on motorcycles. They have the sidecars. They feel safe. So they are good. They arrive to this bar and there is many different types of puncha. So the, the bartender is making them the traditional puncha. The traditional puncha is oranges, lemon, honey, and 40% rum. That's strong. Giselle can't take it. Giselle end up passing hers to Robin at some point. And then they head downstairs. Robin announced once they get downstairs that her website is up and running she is good to go thank you ladies for your participation they're strolling through the website they're looking at their pictures oh my god look at me look at me look at me where's karen karen's pictures did not turn out too good but robin is t totally at fault for that now a lot of people were like robin could have had karen retake the pictures robin could have chose some better pictures actually what robin should have done was tell everybody who her target market was and then everybody would have known oh we okay so let's be young let's be playful let's be you know let's attract the right audience but because she didn't bother to say anything to anybody she got what she got like you can't be mad at karen for that karen could have pulled that off i don't care what nobody say you are first of all getting a free photo shoot from your girls because you didn't want to pay models now you're going to trash talk the photos that they did well guess what you should have been up front about what you're looking for you told them nothing they did their own thing they get back to the hotel and then they change of course they change every time they meet again and they're going to have lunch by, by the pool Ashley wants to know about Jamal and Giselle she wants to know have G Jamal always been like this in touch with Giselle always this affectionate Giselle told her yeah we're friends we are actually friends like if you have a bad day you want to talk to your friend if you have a good day you want to talk to your friend he's always talking to me Karen announces to everybody that you know she started her wig line which I'm, I'm very happy because I see the fact that Karen wears wigs all the time. If you're going to be rocking wigs all the time, I'm not mad at you for starting your own wig line. I'm not mad at you. That way you can throw away them old ones. The one that shifted in the wind that time. Yeah, get rid of that. And rock yours. I love it. Not that one you had braided up. She braided her wig one time, y'all. I ain't... <laughs> Karen is funny to me though. But yeah, I'm proud of her. Regardless, look, these ladies, even even Robin, the fact that she has a hat business and it's black owned, I'm not mad at it. Oh, Kazelle gets in her confessional and she's like, every five minutes, Karen is coming up with a business. I'm just sitting back to see what she gonna do next. Honey, you sitting back watching this woman work. What are you doing? You are literally sitting back. You are you said it yourself. Why do you hate on Karen so much? Like, let this lady do what she want to do. Let her live. If she want to be a businesswoman with 12 businesses, that's her business. I would love to see Giselle get on Housewives of Atlanta and say that to Candy. I would love it. Watch and learn, Giselle. Watch and learn. Karen is having a launch party. Wig shift with a bang party. Straight off the bat. Robin wants to know if Monique is going to be there. Karen says no. That would not be good right now. That wouldn't be good for y'all right now. They're like, okay, alright. 
all right so they get back to where the the hotel they are they're supposed to be changed and meeting in their fetish attire dominatrix <laughs> ashley gets in her confessional and she's like oh yeah i feel the i feel the old ashley rising up again you got the knee high boots you got the whip you got the ball gag all these things i found in my drawer at home i'm like ah. that part is that I, I don't think michael's using it on her i think she's using it on him she bought all new new gadgets she just had the ideas from what she already had at home so her and Michael keep it freaky. Or her and herself, maybe. So we see Giselle getting ready. This lady got on stockings that you would wear to... <laughs> you can see the thigh part coming underneath the shorts. I was like... So somebody get her some help anyway everybody come in i ain't even gonna lie everybody looked decent but i don't think they really did it did it you know what i'm saying ashley is in you know her hot her uh knee boots and her all red giselle got her 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 her, her strap up back thing and got the mini shorts as well as the high the knee boots wendy looks like She's going to a business meeting. She just got on fishnets. <laughs> fishnets and knee-high boots. Still got on her blazer. Or I don't even know if that was a dress blazer or what. It looked like a blazer to me. Karen comes in with her fur. Robin comes in. I mean, it wasn't spectacular. They were okay. It just wasn't anything spectacular. But we know who did do the most of the most. Candace came in there and killed it. Can you imagine somebody seeing her walking down the hotel hall like that? It'd be like, what room are you in? She killed it. Ashley was turned on. I mean, I, I had to do a snapshot of that because Ashley and Giselle were, oh, their whole best dominatrix role. So they're dancing on each other, robbing all. Mm, 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 mm. Robin's getting it and everybody else just kind of did small stuff Wendy and Robin were dancing together everybody was dancing on Karen Karen could not take it Karen couldn't take it everybody wanted some of Karen because Karen was acting scared Karen was like oh my god these girls are in a, another element absolutely they were I think the most that Karen did was spank Giselle but anyway they were having fun so they go to play a game what is your favorite place to be touched? We had two people that said their neck. Robin said her nipples. Candace said her lower back. Karen said her vagina. Which means Giselle and Wendy both said their neck. When did you last give a blowjob? Before the trip, Giselle says. Before the trip, Candace says. A couple weeks ago, Robin says, never got Wendy's response, never got Ashley's response. And then Karen says she retired her mouth. Giselle says in her confessionals that if you ain't doing it, somebody else is. But what I would like to say is, if you are doing it, don't mean somebody else ain't still doing it. She personally should know that. Then, y'all everybody settles down and we get down to the nitty gritty okay so ashley wants to be transparent because she did actually call candace her friend she did also say that that she really did want to be transparent with her she wanted her to hear it from her and not from a blog source not from somebody else wanted to hear it straight from her so when she called her her friend i was like oh she did say it's a working friendship but she did actually call her her friend which i didn't think they were real friends so she proceeds to tell candace that monique asked her to write a statement and she chose to do so because she did not want anything to happen to monique now she said that her goal 
she wanted to lessen what could happen to Monique without harming Candace. When she told her, she was like, well, so this was about a character statement. And she proceeded to tell her about, she wrote about the events that transpired last year between her and Candace at Candace's home with a butter knife. So Wendy jumps in. So you are assassinating her character. Ashley's like, no, that's not what I'm doing. It's not harming her. Candace flips the lid. Don't you say that it's not harming me because it is. So, of course, you got Robin, Giselle, Wendy. Everybody's jumping into the conversation and Ashley can't even get another word out. Candace is pissed, which she has every right to be pissed. I mean, it is what it is. Um, you don't have to like what somebody does. Ashley is saying that she's only telling her truth. So, of course, somebody got to throw in, but you said now you're even. And then, but you said it was a favor. Because Monique looked out for you and Michael. Like, they brought all this stuff back up. And in real life, nobody would run and tell the messiest people around you your situation before you tell the person what's going on. But because this is a TV show, they got to make it the messiest of the messy. And this is how they're able to spit stuff back at her in the midst of her trying to figure it out. Ashley pretty much said what she had to say to Candace and she got up and left. Because nothing that she said was going to justify that. And Candace was on a rampage going off crying and all of that. Like it is, it is what it is. It's a very, it is a very hurtful like if you think about it if you're genuine friends with two people and they literally go at it and you're still stuck in the middle trying to find common ground without making somebody feel as if you're siding with somebody that's going to be a hard thing to do period they've already got eyes on you looking like oh you spent five minutes longer with her than you did with me like come on come on you can't <laughs> it's sad because I, I feel like Monique would be able to handle Karen always being with Candace or being with Candace more than she's being with Monique which I think that's already happening she's still filming with Candace and Monique is nowhere around I think Monique is more mature to be able to handle that I don't think if it was the other way around I would think Candace would completely crumble but that's just my opinion Karen is like you know what it needed to be said at this point Ashley's gone at Candace is now on anxiety med medication, which I really believe it. Let me tell y'all why I believe that. And I said this oh, um, a couple of a couple of videos back. Candace is on medication because Candace has never had to really deal with real life. There's so many people that are like, Monique touched her. She's wrong. End the story. Monique touched her, she's wrong, but that's not the end of story. Candace also provoked the situation. One one person just went too far and, and made it physical. But if you ask me, she was already being attacked with words. Words mean things. I don't it is what it is. Words mean things and you should be able to spit it right back. But if you hit if you hit the wrong nerve at the wrong moment on the wrong day there's no telling what you'll get from somebody so I feel like Candace has grown up in this box that her mom that this this box of life that her mom has created for her I do not think Candace knows anything about unspoken rules life lessons none of that because she kept screaming, I would never do this to anybody. But we already know at some point coming up, Candace is going to try to get to Karen and Ashley. Like, attack mode. So don't say what you won't do. Because if it's at the right moment, on the right date, at the wrong time... You don't know what you're going to do. And that's that's why I feel like people are being so judgmental about this. It is what it is. We're all human. Like, we're all human. When Karen saw Candace crying, 
Karen was fighting back tears. Karen was like stressed. You could tell she did not like Candace feeling like this. But that's not good enough for Candace. That is not good enough for her. That's not good enough for the other people watching. Like, no, you shouldn't. Have. You need to choose. And if you choose Monique, you wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Look, there is no satisfying everybody in this situation. Like, it just is what it is. I'm real enough to say that. So then Giselle says, now do you see why we can't stomach you defending her? And Karen makes it clear, I'm not defending anybody. I am neutral. Karen has said she was wrong. According to Candace, she told you that just because she knew she there was a chance she could go to jail. I just really wish this part would be over with. I'm so ready for the reunion, y'all. They recorded so long. I hope they don't drag it out and give us dull, dull episodes of the reunion. If it ain't worth it, don't make us keep waiting. Like, oh, that's the worst. Everybody gather themselves and, you know, get ready to go back to their own personal rooms. And um, they do that. Ashley's in her room on the phone with uh, Michael. And Candace is on the phone with her husband, Chris. And they're talking about what just happened. Michael thinks Candace is a liar. And he don't like her. He don't like Chris and she um ashley really could have done more because because candace has charged at her with a butter knife before chris is on candace's phone saying that monique has talked pure crap about ashley she was saying that you know f them and i'm never gonna forgive them and all of this and all of that is what chris said monique was saying to them while they were at her house well guess what she probably did and i can see that happening because it probably happened when ashley made the accusations that monique had got into an accident because she was drinking and driving and she probably lost her baby because she was uh drinking too much and all this and all of that if you saying all of that out your behind yeah the person's gonna be mad the person's gonna talk trash if they want to now, if at some point y'all have had a conversation or y'all had to have a conversation about either move, moving forward or forgiving each other for whatever. Because there's no way y'all will be in this place right now if a conversation did not happen. So, Candace, maybe she did say something in the comfort of her own home. But that doesn't mean that's how she feels now. When you're mad at somebody and they try to um, they try to tear down your character, of course you're going to defend yourself. Of course you're going to go you know, to the deep end because you're like, no, I have kids and you're trying to say I'm drinking and driving. You can't do that. I have a podcast not for lazy moms. You're trying to ruin my business. So it's, it's way deeper levels than what we think. And, and I, I can guarantee if somebody were to ask Monique, did she say it? She would probably say yes. Monique is not, Monique is not like up for crap. If she said it, she said it. I don't know how many more episodes we have left. But this season of Potomac... Is better than Housewives of Atlanta by a long shot. This episode of Potomac stresses me out because so much is going on. But I like it. I got to keep watching. <laughs> I got to keep watching. But I'm telling you, it's so good. And it's not like stupid stuff. This is real drama. This is not Snake Gate and all that dumb made up stuff. You know what I'm saying? So... That was the end of the review, but next episode we see uh, Jamal supposed to be coming to stay a week. Uncle Lump is lighting into Michael. Wendy is getting getting fussed out by her mom and called a spoiled brat. Monique shows up to the party, y'all. Woo! Monique shows up to the party. Monique back in the house. Monique back in the house. <laughs> 
I'm so glad they back home so we can start seeing more of Monique again. Y'all, it is Thanksgiving week. Be safe, y'all. Look, if y'all gonna travel, go meet up with family, I'm gonna need y'all to be on y'all A game. Have your thermometers, have your hand sanitizer, your face mask, all of that. You might need to be uh, checking other folks' temperatures and everything. But again, you got to remember, y'all, everybody does not show symptoms. Some people are asymptomatic, meaning they're not going to have a fever and they're carrying the virus. I'm staying home. We are doing a paint night with the family. We eating virtually, y'all. Make it work. That's all I ask. Be safe. Love on your family. Y'all, just spread love. Spread cheer. I try to make y'all laugh. Look, I ain't even going to lie. My energy was a little low today. I've been to work and I normally don't even go to work on Mondays, but I made it work, y'all. I um, pulled together two episodes to the best of my ability right now, the best I can do. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. What do y'all think about me going live on uh, Thanksgiving Eve? Thanksgiving Eve. Me go live. What y'all think? Leave it down in the comments, y'all. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe. Look, I looked at my analytics not too long ago. Y'all are coming back watching me every week and y'all are not subscribing. I need y'all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm not going to blow y'all up because I, at the most, I release two videos a week at the most. So yeah, y'all won't get blown up every time you look up, got a notification, all that. No, hit subscribe and then hit the bell and you'll be good to go. Y'all will get like these notifications on a regular basis once a week maybe twice a week but other than that y'all stay safe i love y'all thank you so much to all of my new subscribers y'all have really been coming through for me i am seeing numbers that i did not know i could reach at this this level i'm on so i am very grateful and thankful for everyone that watch me watch my reviews watch whatever i do it is appreciated follow me on instagram because I want to know, I'm going to put out a question on whether to go live on Thanksgiving Eve. If y'all want me to go live on Thanksgiving Eve, I need y'all to follow me on Instagram, toya.dtv. That way, I'll get the percentage and decide whether I'm going to go live. And if that turns out good, maybe I'll do it on Christmas Eve as well. Because I want to know what y'all cooking. I want to know what's going on. Who baking? Who up in the kitchen with their grandma's recipes, honey? Come back to my channel, okay? Come back. I love y'all. Later.